All right, so we're gonna do a little Galileo app preview um, in the files app from iCloud, and I'm just going to import a file into Galileo. So I'm clicking on the file, and I'm gonna click on share, and then you just go to copy to Galileo Pro. And in Galileo, it shows you a preview of what you're importing, and notes. It's asking you what collection you wanna go into. So I'm gonna go to my collections, I'm gonna create a new folder, Call it test. Done. And it's gonna go into test. And that's it. So now uh, if I click on the map icon on the top right corner, it brings me to what I just imported. Now if I go back to the folders, which is in the top left corner button here, and I see test, I can click on it and go to info and see everything I just saw. And I can actually hide everything. And we're gonna go back to the map, and you see it's not there anymore. Go back into the folders, into test, click on info, and click on this button on the bottom, and show all. And now we see it on the map. And these numbers that you see are just representing how many waypoints are under them when you zoom in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in to the of the route and you can see um, here's the beginning of the route and I'm gonna click on that little waypoint the main one and there's information there there's notes and you could choose a category for it and there's the categories click on the gas station same thing now see these the text on the waypoints you go to settings and you turn on show bookmark name you also want to make sure screen lock auto lock is off and you want to show zoom buttons and show trip computer if I click on the blue line itself it'll tell me the name of the track I click on it and it gives me an overview of the track and again you could scroll and see the notes change the color um, and it gives you an overall uh, great amount of information on it. Now, um, when you're riding, it'll it'll keep your icon on it, on the line as you're riding. And um, you just have to press that button on the bottom left corner of the screen. You want it to look just like it looks now, and that'll keep you um, it'll keep the map oriented correctly as you ride. So as you're riding, you're going to see more and more waypoints. super helpful on the actual um, on the trip on the MABDR that we just did we knew where there were going to be campsites we knew um, we knew sometimes if there wasn't going to be gas for a while we'd have little waypoints to say no gas for 60 miles or whatever it is and you could see all the waypoints by going back into the folder and it'll list them all so we put in repair shops I during the actual trip, I uh, every time we hit a water crossing, I documented it by creating a new waypoint and saving it into this folder. Um, we, we added a lot of things to the actual MABDR route that weren't in there to start with. And you could see that we have all our waypoints, but also if you scroll, we also have our tracks. So these are the tracks that, um, that the BDR guys made, and we just changed the colors a little based on what we wanted to go on, what we wanted to skip. Um, so if you go here and I click on the map button, you'll see that this blue one is, uh, is an entire track that goes to a longer way around to get to Harpers Ferry. The green one just skips it. Um, so we didn't want to do the blue or the gray or the purple here. We just wanted to do the green and then continue on the purple. And I just made the colors like that. For me, it was easier to understand. Uh, but the rest of the trip was pretty much blue. Anywhere that there was something that I wanted to uh, do instead of the regular uh, leg, I would make it in green. Um, and if you wanted to add a little bit of information on your route, you, you could just press and hold on something, press the star, and then you could click on it, and you can put information in. And the key is to... Um, 
put it in that folder, in the test folder under MABDR. That way now it's part of that. Um, and if you ever export it, it'll be exported with it. And you can change the category to whatever you want. Uh, you can also navigate to that point. So on the very bottom, you see the little, uh, the second icon with the squiggly direction line. That'll navigate you to that point from wherever you are. So if I just press navigate right now, and turn left onto turn Avenue, left v. Left onto Avenue V. You could also edit the route, which means that um, if you wanted to uh, stop somewhere specific, you could just tap here and add a transit point, and now it routes you that way. Add another one over here. Could record your trip with the button on top right corner and that's really it it's, it was really easy to use um you could download maps well you have to download maps it won't even let you zoom in on any maps unless you download them so we had everything downloaded for the um for everything on the mabdr and not once did we ever have a map issue not displaying what we needed it was really really reliable the data was always there and you could even search when you're offline. And now, if you look at the map, there's all these white icons. And if you look at the search icon, there's three lines going through, meaning that it's displaying your results on the map. And so, yes, we had our own um, waypoints, like this little gray waypoint right there is our waypoint, but the white one behind it is, um, is the search result. Uh, in terms of searching without um, data plan, you could you, when you're doing the navigation itself, not the track following, but if you're trying to navigate somewhere like I showed you a minute ago, you do need internet access for that. Uh, but to just follow the track and have your icon move along the line, which is what I did the entire trip, um, then you don't need any uh, data or internet access. If you're um, if you want to the directions the actual navigation is helpful if you're off track and you want to get back onto it or you want to skip a certain part and you just want to go to this little ma4 here you click on the navigation it'll get you there if you're running behind schedule or whatever it is <clears throat> um, and so what we did during the entire trip is we also we kept notes on things so um like star city power sports i put dot 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 at the end because if you go into it you could see that I put notes on what we did there and how it was helpful. Same thing with the BMW Triumph dealer in Roanoke. Um, they were really, really helpful. And I just put notes in there. I put notes about the campsites we went to. So let's see. Um, let's see if I could search here for dot, dot, dot. Yeah, so everything with a dot, dot, dot has notes in it. So this is a great, great, great campground. I put some information so that when I share this file with other people, they'll know that these campsites were great. So I think the dot, dot, dot is pretty cool. And that's it. I think it's a great uh, navigation replacement. It really did a great job for me. Um, let me know if you think that your actual dedicated nav device is still better than the 